Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to WoWhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past week in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. Just to get this out of the way, I like am super sick. <laughs> I'm sorry that this video is a little bit late and that I'm clearly like not on my A game, but I am just ugh, doing my best. So I'm I'm genuinely sorry. I'm I like my videos to be better than this, but I'd rather have a video than no video. So yeah, I'm working with what I got. Starting off the video, remember way back in February when we were talking about the Mystic Rune Saber? You know, the shiny purple cat that looks a little like this. Good news is that the Mystic Rune Saber will finally be gracing us with its presence on May 13th. This mount will be available via the in-game shop and will cost 25 US dollars. Now in a little fun piece of information, this mount was actually supposed to come out quite a while ago, but Blizzard wanted to wait until the WoW token rolled out in all regions, so it got delayed. And now we're here. Activision Blizzard released their quarterly earnings last week, in turn announcing that World of Warcraft was down to 7.1 million subscribers. Now this is a pretty significant dip from the Warlords launch of around 10 million, but it's not entirely unexpected given the time of year and the pre-expansion numbers. In quarter 2 of 2014, World of Warcraft had 6.8 million subscribers, and in quarter 3, 7.4 million. All that being said, I don't think Blizzard is particularly worried. Even at 7.1 million, they still had the best quarter one in their entire history, up a full 10% from 2014. Quarter two subscribers are expected to rise given the release of the WoW token. Not to mention, even at only 7.1 million, World of Warcraft is still the number one subscription-based MMORPG in the world by far. I mean, it's not like Blizzard is hurting outside of Azeroth either. Hearthstone has over 30 million registered players, Heroes of the Storm had over 11 million beta signups, and the hype for Overwatch is palpably real. According to the report, over 150 million active players spent 12 billion hours playing their games in 2014. For Orc's sake, in quarter one of 2015 alone, Activision Blizzard brought in 1.3 billion dollars. Moving on from all of that financial mumbo jumbo, we have been talking a lot in the past couple weeks about the upcoming patch 6.2 and today is no exception. One of the things I am most excited for in the next patch are all of the new mounts coming. Observe. This is the Warsong Direfang, one of three mounts which will drop from Rares and Tanan. Here's the next one, the Armored Razorback, and the third, the Tundra Ice Hoof. There are also two mounts which will be purchasable for gold from a vendor in your garrison. The Rock Tusk Battle Boar will cost 10,000 gold, and the Wither Hide Cliff Stomper will cost 20,000 gold. Then there are three PvP Gronling mounts. This one is the Wild Gladiator's Fellblood Gronling. This is the Warmongering Gladiator's Gronling. And this is the Primal Gladiator's Gronling. But in 6.2, Groundlings will be an equal opportunity mount. This is Coldfist. He is obtained through a garrison mission, meaning that pretty much everyone can get him. This is pretty cool considering how difficult the other Groundling mounts are to obtain, although I'm going to be honest, I don't know how I feel about Groundling mounts in general. They sort of give me like an inbred cousin of orcs vibe, and it seems wrong to saddle them up and use them as a form of transportation. Call me old fashioned. Saving the best news for last, May 11, 2015 is the 10-year anniversary of the first upload of the legendary Leroy Jenkins video. Now for those of you who may be unfamiliar, how? Check it out. Uh, I think it's a pretty good plan. We should be able to pull it off this time. Uh, what do you think, Abdul? Can you give me a number crunch real quick? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. I'm coming up with 32.33, uh, repeating of course, percentage of survival. Well, that's a lot better than we usually do. Uh, All right, oh, thumbs up. Ready, guys? Let's or? do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. 
Leroy Jenkins is arguably the most well-known meme associated with World of Warcraft. He has been featured in Jeopardy. This role-playing game out in 2004 returns to the world of Azeroth where heroes like Leroy Jenkins do battle. And that would be the world of Warcraft. In a Toyota commercial. No way. There's no trucks in World of Warcraft. Let's do this. Oh. And even on The Daily Show. Actually, we, we kid around. Any virtual environment does have its unpredictable dangers. You never know what you might encounter there. At that point, all bets are... Leroy! 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 Leroy!